handoff at the change of shift is absolutely crucial. We know we've written it in the medical record. We've all written it in the medical record, but many times the oncoming nurse doesn't have time to read all the stuff for the past 12 hours that you wrote down. So it's important to go through with the nurse. The dressing's intact. I looked at the skin. Uh, the patient was turned to their right side last. Now they're on their back, so they're due to be turned to their left side. All of that is important for the handoff. That provides continuity of care for the patient, and that's crucial for safety. It really comes down to communication. Everybody that's involved in that patient's care needs to communicate the risk that the patient has in developing a pressure injury, what measures have been taken to prevent pressure injuries, as well as does the patient have a pre-existing pressure injury. If a pressure injury is found, it's very important to get the WOCN involved in giving the right care and hopefully you know, preventing any further pressure injuries. Well, one of the things we recognized is that nurses are very busy, and this is just something that's being added to their day. And each time a nurse goes from one level of care to the next, you expect that they give a handoff um, communication to the next level of care. And one of the things we recognized is that if that communication didn't happen, this whole bundle would fall through the cracks. So what we did, um, at our hospital is all of our patients have a blue bouffant that we put on them before they go into the operating room. And for patients that, for whatever reason, are flagged as a high risk for a skin injury, we put a green bouffant on them. And the reason that we did that is that way, if the communication, the nurse-to-nurse the -nurse communication falls through the cracks, when the doors to the operating room open up, they see that green bouffant and they recognize that for whatever reason, this patient has been flagged as high risk, and now we need to think about our nursing interventions. They had no knowledge of pressure injuries. They're surgeons, um, and they were not plastic surgeons, so they had never done surgery on pressure injuries. So I had to start from the ground up and work with them and um, pr prove to them, basically, that pressure injuries were coming from their OR suites and how we can prevent these. I was, communication was key. And we do explain to the patient, the reason I'm putting this on you is because you're gonna be laying on the operating room table for a number of hours, or it's been difficult to get you to move due to your pain, I wanna protect your skin. That's our duty to the patient to do the right thing. We should be, and I know we are, extremely pleased when we have complex cases that do extremely well. I mean, we, we brag about them and we should uh, because we've done the right thing.